Hey guys, it's me Danielle. Um, thanks for tuning into this video. I am doing a not out tomorrow, so I just wanted to show you how I do the set. I have done all but two, and this is somewhat of an experiment for me too because I'm doing them much larger than I normally do, so we'll see how it turns out. Um, my hair is co-washed and I am going to use Elastic QP Mango Butter and I'm sealing with something new today. It's castor oil hair treatment with mink oil from Hollywood Beauty. It is not real castor oil by any means. It's um, a mixture of oils. Um, I'll put it up on the blog for you. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet, to be honest, but we'll see how the results go. Okay, so, um, oh, the reason I'm just doing these two knots for you is because I do two types of knots, um, or if you want to call it knots. Um, the back and the sides, I don't know if you can see, hold on, yeah, okay. So the back and the sides, I do not make, oh, I didn't do this one, <laughs> I do not make them these type of standing up knots because I have to sleep on it and it would be uncomfortable. So I kind of roll it around like like a pin, like a Cinnabon. You know those Cinnabons, how they're just like swirly? Um, so I roll it around that way and let me show you. Okay, see now also, this is how much hair I'm using in one knot. And that's a lot. I've never done uh, knots this big, so I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm taking Elastic QP and just running it. Ooh, this is a big hunk. Running it down the length. Yeah, normally with this amount of hair, I would do two, maybe even three knots. And I'll do my normal uh, knot out for you as well. Uh, but just not today. And I'll put a little of this castor oil mix. Um, this is kind of, it's kind of gritty, this castor oil mix, I don't know, and it smells like crayons, um, it's weird, but if it comes out nice and my hair feels great, it'll be a good investment. It was cheap, it was like a dollar fifty on sale at CVS. Anyway, um, so yeah, I co-washed my hair, and that means that I didn't use shampoo, I used conditioner only to wash my hair. I did rub my scalp like I was doing a regular shampoo. Okay, so, oops, I need a bobby pin. Okay, so, let's see. I hope you can see this. I just, I wrapped the hair around itself, and now I wrap it around itself, oops, flat on the side of my head. I don't know what you're seeing. I hope you can see this. Just the ends I tuck under, so it's not sticking out like one of these guys. Can you tell? Can you see? I sure hope you can. I'll put in a bobby pin and then show you again. If I can open the bobby pin. This one's a little bit poking out more than the others, but I hope you can see that. And here's the back ones. They're just flat against my head to make it easy to sleep. And here's a side one. Okay, so that's what I do on the back and sides of my hair. I just flip water in my eye. Okay, so now this is the standard, I guess standard, Bantu knot or mini bun, or whatever you prefer to call it. I call them bantu knots, even if they're not technically a bantu knot. Now, this is the Elastic QP again, mango butter, and now a little more castor oil mix. This one, since it's up top, I don't have to worry about Oops, let me show you the ends. <laughs> Comfort when I'm sleeping, so it can just stick up any old way. I just twist the hair around itself. Just twist, twist. And... Oh, 
twist it around itself again, however it wants to go, and almost voila, voila, <laughs> and they're held in place with small bobby pins, and what I'm going to do is sit under my soft bonnet dryer for about 20 minutes, I'll go to bed, I'll wake up in the morning, and I'll poke around and see how the largest one feels. And if that feels a little damp, I'll go under for another 20 minutes. And then I'll do the reveal for you guys. Okay? Um, I hope I didn't leave anything out, but I'm sure I'll get the email to let me know what I did. So if you have any questions, please just shoot me an email to whimsycarl at gmail.com. And that's it. Thanks for watching. And I'm excited to see how this turns out tomorrow. Bye, guys.